In this video, we're going to focus on the padding options in the Chart.js plugin for data labels. And with the padding, it is slightly different than what we did so far with our other options, which is the font, and for example, the font.weight. So let's look at this here. So you can see here we have the padding, and then we have the padding top, padding right, bottom, and left, etc., etc. So we can control these. However, we don't have to do them all individually because there's basically a shorthand as well which is the padding itself so you can see here the padding can be a number or an object but if we go to fonts here the font can only be the object so you can see here this specifies individually these items here so with the padding we can do a number or we're going to specify specific items that you want to pinpoint so let's do them both so the first thing what I want to do here is I will say here padding Make sure there's a comma here because it indicates that there's another variable or namespace coming here. So we say here padding, and then what we could do here basically is this. We can say here top, and top would be 10 pixels, comma, and then it's a bottom 10 pixels. And if we save this and we refresh, you can see now the top and bottom has a higher padding, which creates a increase in color. Or at least the color area has been colored, of course, because this is we're talking about padding here. This is not margin. So let's do here left 10, and then I'm going to remove the top and the bottom. Save that, refresh, and there you are. So now this is basically what you can do. Or in case you don't want to have them all, you can just put in an individual value, let's say 5, and save that. Once you save that, there you are, it will force us a 5 padding on the top, bottom, left and right, uh, left and the right side. So basically every item will be colored or will have a specific size of 5 pixels of padding. Very similar to CSS style. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.